Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have another very very interesting question from Radical Mathematics. We are going to evaluate cube root of 47 plus 400 over square root 5. So let us consider this expression equal to x first. Now I will consider cubing both sides. So power 3, both sides, cube root and cube will be over. We will write x cube as 47 plus 400 over the square root 5. Now we will use rationalization of denominator. So we need to multiply numerator denominator by square root 5. So square root 5 times square root 5 will give us 5. We can write x cube equal to 47 plus 400 square root 5 over 5. Now this will be over. We will get denominator 1 and here we will write 80. So x cube we can write 47 plus 80 square root 5 or x cube will be 80 square root 5 plus 47. Now I will factorize 80. Let me write here x cube equal to 80 square root 5 plus 47. Now I can write 80 as 16 times 5 is 80. Then we have a square root 5. Then we have plus 47. Now this 5 I can write is square root 25 and then we have a square root 5 plus 47. Now we can club these two radicals as we know the square root A times a square root B this will be equal to the square root AB. So I can write x cube equal to 16 times the square root of 25 times 5 plus 47 or I can write x cube equal to 16 times the square root of 125 plus 47. Now I will use Simon's favorite factoring trick. Let me write this equation here. x cube equal to 16 times a square root 125 plus 47. So I will multiply both sides by 8 first. 8 and in RHS also we will multiply with 8. So LHS will become 8 is 2 cube x cube RHS will be 8 times 16 128 square root 125 plus 47 times 8 we will write 376 now using exponent law which is a power x times b power x Anytime we can write AB whole power X. So this side we will be writing 2X whole cube. And RHS I will split 128 and 376. So 128 will write 125 plus 3. Then we have the square root 125. And 376 we will split 375 plus 1. Now let's expand, simplify RHS. I will write 125 is square root 125 plus 3 times is square root 125 plus 375 plus 1. Now I will rearrange RHS. I can write 125 is square root 125 plus 1. 
plus 375. Then we'll write 3 times a square root 125. And LHS is 2x whole cube. Let me write our equation here. 2x whole cube equal to 125 square root 125 plus 1 plus 375 plus 3 times square root 125. Now 125 square root 125. We can write this is square root 125 whole cube. Now this 1, I can write 1 whole cube. Now this 375, I can write 3 times square root 125 whole square times 1. So square root 125 whole square is 125 times 3 is 375. And then 3 square root 125, we will be writing 3 times square root 125 times 1 square. So this is replicating one algebraic formula. If I will consider a square root 125 as A and 1 as B, then this is A cube plus B cube plus 3A square B plus 3AB square. So in this place we can write a plus b whole cube where a is the square root 125 and b is 1. So I will write 2x whole cube. This will be equal to a square root of 125 plus 1 whole cube. Now we will consider cube root both sides. So I will consider cube root, cube root. Now this cube root and cube will be cancelled out from both the sides. So we will get 2x equal to the square root 125 plus 1. Now I can write 125 as 25 times 5. plus 1. Now square root 25 will be 5. So 5 root 5 plus 1 is our RHS. LHS is 2x. So 2x equal to 5 root 5 plus 1. And once we will divide both sides by 2, we will get our answer 5 is square root 5 plus 1 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.